Hi and welcome to this video demonstration of how you can create your own games using Google Slide templates. Uh, now these are really useful um, for games that you'll keep for a long time. They're, they're a bit more work than the quick online uh, quiz makers. Uh, but they're very interactive and you can put a lot of questions on here as well. So you can see here we've got Jeopardy. Um, and if you click onto the second slide, you'll get the editing directions here. Now, this is the case with the majority of these templates. Um, they're read only and you need to make your own copy um, before you can edit. Uh, so the first thing we do is we make our own copy. And to do that, we just come over here where it says File. So we've got File, Edit, View, and Help. We're just going to click File. And then from File, we're going to go to Make a Copy. Now, it's really important that you do that you click Entire Presentation. Uh, the way these work is that they've got links uh, to each of the slides. So the question, the question slide has got a link to the answer slide and then a link to back home. So it's really important you keep those links intact. Now I'm not going to change anything here, but you can change the name uh, if you want. If you're going to arrange these by topics, uh, you can do that. So I'm just going to click OK, and that's going to create my own copy. OK. So uh, as we wait for this to happen, um, what you can do is um, you can move down here. Just one second. Here we go. We've got the Jeopardy board. Uh, this will be familiar to a lot of you. So this is where the students will decide whether they want topic one for a hundred dollars, topic four for four hundred dollars. And the way we get the questions here uh, is we simply click on topic one, hundred dollar question. And we're just going to write a quick question here. We'll just say what language is spoken in France? Okay. And then here the hundred dollar answer. Okay, and the answer is obviously French. Okay, then we can move through here. So we've got topic one, the two hundred dollar question. Um so let's keep on the same topic. So let's say what language is spoken in uh let's say Australia. And uh, then we can go down here, the topic answer. And uh, we're going to say English. And then obviously you can get more and more difficult as the uh, as the questions rise in value. So let's do a 300 what language is spoken in Mozambique. Okay, so what language is spoken in Mozambique? And we've got Portuguese. Okay, spot Portuguese wrong. Not much of a, an English teacher there. Portuguese, there we go. Um, so obviously you can move through these, uh, adding different topics, making the, uh, the questions more difficult as you go along. Now to play this is really simple. Uh, we can just go up to the Jeopardy board, uh, share your screen with your student, and then just click this present, um, present button here. Now, when we present this here, you can put on your best game show voice. Uh, remember, we've only actually done questions 100, 200, and 300 here, so we'll just have a look at these. So we can say, okay, so which uh, topic and how much money uh, do you want to play for? Uh, let's go for topic number one for $100. And then when we click on this, it takes us to this question. Uh, what language is spoken in France? Mm, the student will think about it. French, we can click to see the answer and French okay so they got the hundred dollars so we can click to return to the Jeopardy board okay and then you can go through here now unfortunately um, it doesn't remove the um, the money as they go so sometimes you either might need to use an interactive whiteboard which we've discussed in this course or sometimes you might want your own whiteboard to keep score here that's especially important if you've got a group task um, activity uh, so you can keep the scores and keep the uh, the level of competition up. Okay, well, that's the end of this demonstration. I hope you found this useful. Uh, we hope you enjoy the rest of the course. Thank you very much.